Welcome back to another episode of 60 Parsecs, my fellow friends. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. I've been having a great one myself. This is episode number two, and I have not seen your comments because I'm recording this back to back. If you like this video and the one before, make sure you bang the like button down below and then crash that subscribe button. If you haven't done so already, let's get into it. We are about to go out and find stuff. So let's see. Oh, what are we going to do? Radio zone? Warhead Town. So it's like a risk reward thing, right? So we either fight creatures. It's going to take three days. This one's going to take three days. And there's like all kinds of crap that we're going to deal with. Here it's going to take uh, two days. And really we're only going to get ore. And I don't know what this hazard means. So I don't know. Like this is this. I'm, we're going for it. We're going to Warhead Town. Okay. Uh, I think we'll send the brute. Uh. Dee Hawkins, she's fast. She can run away. She's smarter. He's super strong, though. I don't like Dee Dee. She, she hit me over the head with a mug. She cracked my skull. She's going for it. Okay. Choose the equipment. Next item. Okay. Gas mask? I don't know. What can we send? Can we give her a, give them a shovel? Uh, Upgrade spacesuit. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> what should we give them? Um, I don't know. Artifact? I don't, what's an artifact good for? Who knows? Anyways, let's... I, I have no idea what to give them. They don't really have a lot of choice. Uh, is there any radiation? There's no radiation there. A lighter? A can of soup? Uh, maybe some soup, because she'll need some food, right? Okay, let's do that. Bam! Okay. That's all you get, lady. Sorry. Get the GTFO, man. Get the frick out of town. Time to go. Okay, what else can we do here? Uh, we should probably craft. Uh, okay, it's still crafting. We can't do anything there. All right. Go. A13 is in the can. Do we... Actually, before we stop, let's go ahead and take a look at our food situation. Let's redistribute the food because I think we're still hungry, right? Hungry, hungry, hungry. All right. Bam! Let's do it! Day 14. Oh, baby. Maybe we'll lose somebody. I mean, if she gets lost... Eh, well, yeah, oh, I mean, I don't... She's gone! Oh, no, she's gone. Oh, go. <laughs> okay, if you're going to send an expedition, why not do it with style? Remember to upgrade your expedition module. Uh, <laughs> Didi set off for the shanty-looking settlement to the south. I'm keen to see what she discovers. Crafting complete, new item available. Okay. Where's the battery? Oh, here it is. Atomic battery. Uh, okay, so I think that's good. I hope that's good. So here we can upgrade something. Can we upgrade here? I don't know if we want to do that yet. Uh, it, what does it say? Okay, anyways. Captain, it's time for Astro Citizen activity of the most importance. The most important task available on this shuttle, mopping the floor. <laughs> oh, great. From dried up bodies of squashed bugs to little light burns, the place could do with a good scrubbing. Baby looks free. Will we ask him to apply some elbow grease? Yes. Definitely. Yeah. See all these cans here? Gross. Um, I think we need to make an investment in some food. I just feel like that's probably a good thing because we're getting pretty low. I think we only have three left. So let's do that. This is, I don't like this. I don't like it at all. Not one bit. We are hungry. Uh, okay, we don't need to eat every single day. We are always hungry. That's kind of the misnomer. So let's just not eat today. I think we've been overeating. Maybe, I don't know, whatever. Okay, let's do this. I'm getting achievements. You can't see them. They're in the lower right corner, but uh, it's the steam overlay, so you can't see them. You ordered baby to get on, on all fours, oh boy. Uh, da, 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 and wipe the floor clean. Just what a perfect astro citizen leader would do. Being the respectful crewmate he is, Baby was happy to oblige and worked away at even the smallest stains down there on the floor. Cleaner shuttle, happier astro citizens, crafting complete, new item available, Baby is now your friend. Good. Oh no. What's this? Communications console. Oh, this is what's busted up. Oh, I get it now. Make a decision. All right, I'm scared. I'm scared. We are receiving a signal, sir. It sounds like a gloopy, loose version of Morse code. The signal's fading. Ah, we don't have a communicator. We don't have a communicator. Try and decode the signal first. Let's try to use the handbook because we don't have the communicator. We haven't built it yet. Okay, that being said, what can we craft? We need metal. 
Can we recycle? Can we recycle it. I just, I'm worried. I'm scared about recycling the tin soup because isn't that our food? Okay, repair. Repair a shovel. Okay. I'm going to repair the shovel. I don't know why. Let's do it. Okay. Day 16. I think D should be back now. I think she was only gone for three days. Okay. It's got another achievement. Fix it, Felix. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. We consulted the shipboard handbook for tips on decoding such a signal, but no clear pattern emerged. You kept pouring over the notes charts, but evidently the transmission was nothing but mush code. After a couple of hours, the transmission stopped. I wish these aliens would stop morsing around. Ha-ha. <laughs> Repair shovel. New, new item available. Shovel. Okay. Okay. That's good. Okay, we can't repair the console yet. Can we upgrade? We can do lots of upgrading. All right. Oh, we can craft a communicator now. Okay, let's do that. Our food situation is good, right? We're still hungry. We don't need to eat a lot. Okay, good. We found something interesting, Captain. There's this lonely statue, a tentacled creature shaped vaguely human-like with hands outstretched as if in a religious blessing. The inscription is barely legible, but it says something about an honor and service to a higher cause. The way the statue cups its hands downwards, cups its hands downwards reminds me of something. Ah, yes, of course. It's almost exactly the shape of your head. What a coincidence. It's a stretch, but perhaps there is a reward for sticking your noggin in the statue's hands. What do you say? Give it a try. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. I don't know. I don't. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is, could be it. Day 16 could be it, folks. I mean, who knows what's going on here. We're okay. We got that going. We're good. Whoa, this report thing's going on. Okay. Okay. Actually, let's check this out. What do we got going on here? Make five successful intelligence attribute decisions. I'll wait for the... Okay. All right. All right. We're going. I think we're good. We'll have to feed... I think we'll have to eat this turn. I think we'll have to eat this turn. Day 17. Oh boy. Okay. I, he looks a little crazy. Okay. This one's on me. Note to self. Ominous fragmented inscriptions on creepy looking statues equals capital B bad. When you put your head into the statue's receptacle, nothing happened for a while. Mildly annoyed you started walking away. That's when you passed out. Okay. Great. Not sure what the statue did exactly, but the drool coming from the side of your mouth can't be a good sign. We'll run some simple mathematical tests later to see just how badly you were affected. In the meantime, if you could refrain from trying to fit your head <laughs> and into your mouth, that would be lovely. Baby assures you that you can still count on his friendship. Crafting completed new item available communicator. Aha. Okay. Uh, so, oh, okay. Wait. Oh, this is the today's quest. I can't map the surface of this planet. Bobonos is a toxic, war-torn ruin. You'll need good maps, but something's jamming me. When I try to access the system, I get this message. You are trespassing my domain. Pay tribute or die. Regards the Watchman Ugh, It's some kind of territorial... Aha. Uh -huh. And to your perhaps security. What, will, what should we... What will you give them something? Uh, <laughs> Give them the handbook. I don't know. We don't have a sock pocket. Uh, food? Food? Or a book? Food or a book? I don't know. Which is the right choice here? You're trusting my domain. Pay tribute or die. Ugh. All right. Give him some food. We should all eat. Let's go ahead and do that. We're out of food. Let's go ahead and craft some food. Uh, so this is getting dangerous. Okay. He's looking a little, little rough around the edges. How are we doing this? Expeditions cannot be shut down until the previous one returns. Okay, decision made. That's good. We got a communicator. We got cans all over the floor. Let's do this. We're eating, right? Yeah. Okay. We're, we're eating. Okay, let's do this. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Day 18. Ha ha. Ha ha. You offer the watchman a can of soup, rolling it through the door with the words, Great watchman, take this soup, our greatest invention. You felt a brief gust of wind, and then the tin fell in half. You're just like the ones who live underground, the voice groaned. I'll spare my energy, let them kill you. So long, the jam lifted, but the creature's words left you in the foul mood. Edie is still exporting outside, crafting complete new home available. Baby's doing well, mentally he looks alert. Okay. All right, so let's see what we got here. Captain, we are able to detect transmissions of unknown 
Origin, unfortunately, communications console has been damaged during the pride. Bar -bar. You can have a ride to print. Okay, let's do that. We're going to hardwire the communicator. Done. Good choice. Uh, okay, I think we're going to go ahead and... Oh, we can't craft it. Can't craft anything. Recycle. We need some chemicals. What can we get? Let's recycle the artifact. Probably should have given them an artifact if I could have recycled. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes? Because we're going to need food. We only have two food left. We're hungry. We're good. We're not starving. We're going to skip food this turn. Bam. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Day. Day. 19. Achievement unlocked. Hello world. Oh crap. Where do we go? Uh-oh. We're gone. No. What happened? Oh no. Okay. Great success, Captain. The communicator attached to the communications consoles work like a charm. I don't, I won't judge the aesthetics since we can finally receive and answer transmissions. Now all we need to do is wait for someone to contact us. Someone will find us eventually. You could tell Baby was amazed by what we achieved today. He's, he almost smiled. There's hope, Captain. Baby continues to be your friend. Recycling operation complete. Okay. But where are we? I'm so confused. Okay, up craft items, soup. Okay. I'm glad I finally convinced you to go for a short walk around the shuttle and stretch a little outside. Even if you claim I forced you with my constant whining, it's for your own good, Captain. When you stepped outside, you noticed a small asteroid coming right at you. You tried to run but back inside, but it looks like the airlock snapped shut. Mind you, you need a moment to reopen the doors for you, so you need to figure out a way to deal with the asteroid yourself. Will you dodge? Uh, we're better at agility than strength. Or grab the nearest flat, heavy rock and... Yeah, we gotta run. I'm thinking. Okay, this could be it. Day 20. Dun, dun, dun! Did we get squished by a meteorite? <gasps> Day 20. It's thinking. Oh, we made it! <laughs> okay. We're starving. Okay. Whoo! <laughs> With an asteroid... With an asteroid is falling on your... I think it says, when an asteroid is falling on your head, there's not a lot of time for precision. With an asteroid, yeah, okay. You tried jumping out of its way, but tripped. Sure you avoided a direct asteroid hit, but I can see you limping. Ah, no, it looks like you messed up a tendon or two. It's gonna leave a nasty bruise. Might impair your movement for some time. You're very lucky still to be in one piece, given that the velocity of that thing, a direct hit would smear you across the ground like a tomato. Baby remains alert, crafting complete, new item available. You are starving, better grab some food. Baby's starving, he won't survive without soup. Okay, so we'll go ahead and give soup to all. Okay, good. All right, so that's good. So we kind of, I think we managed that correctly. So we can't craft anything. We might need to recycle something. The way the handbook goes, what can I say? We need, we need, we're gonna need to keep up on our food. We're waiting for Lady, Lady to get back, but she's not here. Okay, sweet. We don't have a ray gun. Ray gun's a thing. Cool. A sweet old man looking like Charles Darwin is knocking at our airlock politely. You let him in, he shakes your hand, then holds it in an iron grip and won't let go. But technology evolution stops. Soviet scientists want our species to stay strong, so they created me, the natural selection bot. He claims it is for your own good, which is what the dentist always said. And you didn't believe him either. You let me in despite warning signs. Now face your space predator human he doesn't have does have a point captain oh i can see why you want to postpone the discussion defend yourself with a shovel that's all we got <laughs> bang 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 okay here we go folks here we go uh we got food in the belly yeah we can't talk to her she's she's gone for a long time holy cow wow woo 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 Okay, come back, Dee Dee. Oh, wow. Space Explorer feels like home and Eco Shuttle. We just got a whole bunch of shit. Hey, she's here. She's happy, too. All right. Let's see what happened. Looks like we're looking pretty good here. A Soviet made. Sorry. A Soviet made Darwinian predator held you in its grip. The shovel is mightier than the sword. You yelled, the witch took it by surprise. You insisted survival was about. Working together, not sheer strength of a single soul. I took you in, you attacked as if you were against sharing the common. Are you a bad communist? You sneer. <laughs> what the heck? The predator hesitated. You commanded it to dig letters. 
and will not hunt without thinking in the ground 100 time, times. Like a scolded school child, the predator took the shovel and went to work. He disappeared from my camera's range at the 73rd line. I have not seen it since. DD came back. Woo! The town to the south turned out to be a settlement built around an unexploded warhead. <laughs> it's a Fallout reference. A uh, lot law, law in the settlement is played fast and loose. DD came back with bloody nose. Oh boy. With a full stomach and pretty shook up. She, she said the would-be lawman in Warhead Town gave her a bit of a bother. The bruises do the talking. The greasy river that runs through the Warhead Town sweats oil and Dee Dee's delight. Chemicals good for crafting. She gathered a slew uh, of the least gross stuff. 28 chemicals. Nice. At one point, Dee Dee encountered a hag-like phobian with streaky hair growing out of its headpiece. It muttered in a wormy negative native tongue and shoved an artifact into Dee Dee's hands before th retreating into the shadows. All right, sweet. Dee Dee spotted a number of unusual undergarments hanging from a line. She didn't hesitate to grab a sock. Nice. A strange place, war, war town, but well worth visiting. Dee Dee's wanderlust has been quenched one way or another. Recycling operation complete. You are hungry. Dee Dee is really tired. Baby is hungry. Wow. Epic. That's so cool. I'm glad we recycled that thing then. Okay, <clears throat> so what's this? Why do we have, why is this closed? Weird, <gasps> sock puppet. Oh, I just worried that goes. All right, all right, all right. Oh, there's just stuff, you can just keep finding stuff everywhere. And this place is a trash pile. Sir, do you hear that? Roll up, roll up for Captain Cerberus's Cosmic Carnival. Can you shave a scoat's eyeballs within 30 tachyons? Can you answer our pop quiz at 10 Gs? Try your hand. And win valuable prizes. There's a floating pan galactic fun fair outside. Two games look pertinent a zero G wire loop game and a space time bending maze. Test your dexterity or your mind. I think we're gonna go mind. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, you are hungry. You're alert. You're hungry. You are tired. What can we do here? Okay, we have no food. We have no food. We got to craft the food. But we have lots of energy, which is great. Okay. Can we go exploring? We can. Okay. Uh, she's too tired. She's probably too tired to go exploring, right? So what do we find here? I don't know what this is. Chance for ore. How about we send home slice? Yeah. Yeah. What should we give him? Oh, so I'm loath to give too much food. We're gonna get enough food next turn. Okay, at least he's gonna be hungry. I hope. I hope that matters. I hope that's a smart thing to do. Anyways, okay, we're making stuff. We're doing stuff. Day twenty-one in the bag. Day twenty-two, two, 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 two. Aha. Before the cosmic carnival flew off, you decided to see if you could escape the Zorbator's labyrinth. But the reality breaking loops of maze kept bringing you back where you began. Eventually the huge <laughs> many mouthed Zorbator placed a squirming hand on your head and stewed your mind like a casserole. You took hours to recover. Great. Maybe went for a stroll into the vast strange Northern forest. Let's hope he doesn't enter any gingerbread houses. Crafting complete new item available. Didi is rested. Okay. Craft food. Done. Okay, resources. Sir! A sound just came from nearby. It appears to be a cockroach size. A cockroach the size of a school bus. Scratch that. It's a dead cockroach. A figure is sitting on top of it, out of breath, with a spear in his hand, and is approaching us. The masculine is rubbing his stomach and gest gesturing our way. I think he wants food. Do you want? Yeah, fine. Give him food. We'll starve. What do we care? Ugh, this is bad news. We're gonna be starving next turn and we're gonna have a problem. We are going to have a problem. Oh boy. Achievement unlocked, crafty. Yeah, we're hungry. We're hungry. Plain whaling, what was that? Day 23, a strange little cockroach killer. Appreciate the soup you gave it. It then threw a spare spear your way. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh-huh. Lightly and spent several hours training you in the way of roach slaying. You feel nimbler than before. After it left, I managed to translate some of what it said to us. I'm a rad roach hunter, as in I'm a radical guy who hunts roaches. Do you have any food? An earnest chap. Apparently, you made the correct choice. DD's still alert. Crafting complete. 
Uh, we're starving. Mm -hmm. Let's give you some food. All right. Let's go ahead and craft up some more food because Didi's probably going to be hungry next turn. Okay. All is good. All is glorious. Captain, our communication equipment is detecting something. I don't think it's a transmission. I think it's a whale. Okay. Something is crying out for help nearby. Would you like to go investigate? Uh, why not? It's how we roll, man. It's how we roll. This could be it. This could be the end of our life. Day 24. Hey, we made it back. Nice, we're not dead. <laughs> you went out to investigate the eerie crying sound. Whoa. On the stormy dystopian plains and came back with a stumbling little alien. Oh, great, awesome. Oh, he's down here, oh gosh, no. He seems weak, possibly injured, and as a lonely, lonely as an emergency skate pod flying through the cosmos, you brought it in and propped it up in the corner. Crafting complete. You got him available, food. What the frick is going on, man? I'm scared. Maybe it's gonna be another human, I don't know. Captain, we're receiving a universal message from another AI. Greetings, meat clocks. We are the legion of disorganized robots. We keep, we keep no activity logs and never change our oil. Our wires grow long and beautiful. We are the chaos of the universe. Meat bodies order, therefore you all must be destroyed. We are legion, we are disorganized. Hail chaos. Captain, there's a vast energy signature approaching our position and uh, fraction of speed light. Yeesh, the jerks like this who give us, give every other AI a bad name. I'm not sure what to advise here. Okay, you might be able to scare them with a clever, off with a clever response or show uh, strength. Your prince would show. Okay, I guess we're going to do that because we're not strong. Hey, can I take a look at our stats? Have we, oh, uh, I think we've, yeah, our our intelligence has diminished because we've been <laughs> we've been brainified too many times. That's right, I said brainified. Deal with it. Oh, so funny. Hopefully, I crafted something. I can't remember now. Oh, day twenty-five. Okay, everybody seems to be good. They freaking aliens on the ground. Okay, incredible, Captain. Your response worked to scare off. The approaching, oh yes, we did it. Awesome, legion of disorganized robots. You replied, greetings, this is Captain Emmett Ellis. Your submitted proposal is not accepted at this time. The typical notice period for destruction of meat clocks is in the jurisdiction of three months. Furthermore, all such proposals must be submitted in writing via registered mail inside. My lawyer, D.D. Dawkins, is ready to take this to court. Regards the captain. The robots were such a mess, they couldn't even flee in the same direction. They scattered like scrap in a supernova. A million disorganized robots was no match for the legendary efficiency of our crew. What a confidence boost. You feel right, wittier, too. DD continues to look alert. Alert, baby is still out. So did that give us... Aha! Our, our, our intelligence went up. Nice. We recovered some. Okay, let's quickly go here. We're gonna craft some more soup. Bam! Okay, we got two soup cans. Everybody's still good. You're still good. People are hungry. Not always hungry. Sir, crewmate Dawkins has pointed out another one of those pillbox-like bunkers that litter this planet nearby. This one's top has been blown open as if something detonated inside. You poke your head in to find a giant empty storeroom. It would be easy to get lost in here, test your mental mapping skills, or try to to climb a particularly tall unit for a vantage point. Well, I mean, it's basically... Do it, I don't know, man, we're pretty brilliant. Okay, day 25 is in the books. Bam! Let's do it. Day 26, the best day ever. Space Explorer feels like home to achievement progresses. Hey there, he's back and we're hungry. You and Didi sit off into the dark quarters of the storage facility near the shuttle by clearing the aisles in an orderly row by row fashion you managed not to get lost. Yes, and it paid off. Deep in the facility, you found a book on the bottom shelf caked in dust but full of details, of detail, details, diagrams? Okay, back at the shuttle, you wrapped it in an old Astro Citizen <laughs> and co handbook cover. Baby has returned from his jaunt to the Eastern Glade. He is limping a little, pretty well fed and a bit freaked out. You get comfortable as he begins to tell you his story. On the journey, Baby was struck by a fragile falling tree or two. He's in a bit of a state. From the bottom of the shimmering ponds, he scooped up a number of valuable minerals. Great. 
With an eerie but fruitful experience, in spite of the spookiness, baby is safely back in the nest. Crafting complete, new item available. You are starving, Captain. Dee Dee is starving. Better get her some food. I've decided to decode a few signals that have been passed around recently. They all contain mention of crashed alien ship. Maybe there are aliens. Maybe we are the aliens they are talking about. Baby is weak. Can you do something about it? Baby is really tired. Okay. Let's uh, let's take care of. Okay, crap. Interesting news, Captain. It appears that there's a hollow space behind one of the wall panels and shouldn't. A hidden room, maybe a secret stash. It would be worth checking out. What is your approach to finding out what's behind the panel? I don't know. Brute force. Actually, agility. Okay, let's take care of some uh, needed stuff. Can we upgrade? Navigate. Oh, we can upgrade. Oh, okay, well, we're going to do that next turn. I think we need to craft some more soup because we're hungry. Let's go check out your stats. Okay, you're definitely gonna eat. Hmm. You're definitely gonna eat. And you're okay, you're weak though. So I don't have medical kits. How do I craft medical kits? We haven't learned that yet. Okay, well, that's the best I can do right now. Let's see, let's see. Oh, he's making noise. That's so cool. All right, let's check out where we can go here. This is the last place. Radiation. This is this looks really dangerous. Three of twelve locations discovered. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. We're gonna chill on the exploration for one turn, and we're gonna go to the next day. Oh boy. Oh boy. Achievement unlocked. Bing pot. What does that mean? Oh, wow, we found a laser gun. Aha, uh -huh. sweet. Yesterday you reached a hidden space behind one of the wall panels. The only way to get there was through the ventilation shaft, but thankfully you were nimble enough to fit in the exit through and in and exit through the other side. You found a gun in the concealed area. Who left it there and for what purpose? Ah, mysteries. They make the galaxy turn, don't they? Baby is still your friend. Crafting complete and you unavailable. You see something, Captain. Dee Dee's hungry. Dee Dee thinks of you as a friend. Baby has rested. Nice. Hmm. Still weak, though. Okay, let's take a look at the upgrade station. Can we? We can upgrade our navigation system. Or we can upgrade our spacesuit. That's going to take two turns. That's going to take two. Uh, guess we'll do that for now. Let's try it. The little alien we collected from the planet's ruined, ruined planes appears to be very, very unwell. Shoot. We can't do anything. Could you treat the lost alien in a few days? How would you help? I don't know, man. I. Dark tape fixes everything. <laughs> I have no medical kits. We are boned. I don't know how to make a medical kit. Okay, uh, let's just go for it. Day 27 is in the books, folks. Day 28. Oh boy. We're doing this. We're doing this. Day 28. That's pretty good, man. Okay. Woo. Oh, wait. He looks kind of happy. After studying the little weak alien a bit you more, you decided to help it out. You grabbed the duct tape roller and went to work on the terror in his protective suit. Yes, the creature studied the shining wondrous material on its arm. It looked at you in awe. <laughs> if only Astro Citizen HQ can know how effectively you were at spreading awareness of human power and advancement across the galaxy, sir. Dee Dee assures you that you can still count on her friendship. Okay, baby still to be weak. Baby starving. Can you serve him food? Okay, we got this. All right. Um, not available. Crap. I don't know. Can we? We're gonna give you some food. All right. I oh, can't heal you. Can't heal you. Okay, let's look what we got. Captain, we're receiving a coded message of unknown origin. It could be a distress signal, a message of some sort of pretty. <laughs> okay. Should I play? Yes. Play the transmission. Let's do it. Okay. Day 29. Oh boy. What's going to happen today? Extreme makeover. Okay. Uh oh. <sighs> oh, people are hungry. We have received a transmission yesterday. We have received a transmission yesterday. Turns out it was a message from another group of survivors lost in space and pleading for help. Unfortunately, it's impossible to pinpoint the exact location of your fellow castaways. However, the knowledge that you are not alone out here is make. Enough is enough to make you and your crew feel much better. Mentally, at least, who knows? Maybe one day you'll find them. Dee Dee assures you you can still count on her French pick. Looks alert, remains weak. Upgrade complete. Navigation level two. You are starving, Captain. Dee Dee is starving. Baby is hungry. Okay. Okay. All right. 
craft food. We're gonna have to definitely do that. Navigation system. Where is the navigation system, by the way? Uh, there you go. Oh, I see. So, uh huh. Radio zone. Okay. Uh, monument. Uh huh. Large bunker. Okay. I'm not sure what that means. Okay, I see. So, by upgrading our navigation equipment, we've explored and expanded upon the places we can go. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. If you like this video, make sure to bang on the like button down below. Crash that subscribe button. As always, love to hear from you in the comments down below. My name is Crash. I'm out. Mm -hmm.